So Uddhava and Narada Muni, they decided that perhaps Balaramji, you should go and tell them. Sri Balaram became very sad. He said, it is very nice you are telling me to do like this. And I cannot say no to what you request. So please reconsider. Krishna sent me to Vrindavan many, many years ago. I stayed there for two months during the springtime when I saw the condition of the Brijabhasis. How they are surviving. They cannot eat, they cannot sleep, they cannot talk anything but Krishna. They're just laying in the ground, rolling in the ground. The river Jamuna does not even flow. The calves do not even drink the milk from their cows. The gopis with tears in their eyes, almost like ghosts, they just make garlands for Krishna, bhoga for Krishna, hoping he will come back tonight. But he doesn't come back. They just go on crying and crying and crying. And I tried to pacify them. The residents of Vrindavan without Krishna are like fish without water. If you take fish out of water, what else can satisfy them except that water? Nothing else can pacify the Brijabhasis except the personal association of Krishna. So when I saw that there was nothing I could do, I failed. I promised Yashoda Mai, after touching her feet, that I will go back to Dwarka and I will beg Krishna to come. And I'm sure he'll come. I'll do everything I can to get him to wind up his responsibilities and return to Vrindavan. When I returned to Dwarka, I told Krishna, what is the condition of the Brijabhasis? You must go. Krishna said, yes, I will go. Yes, I will go. To this day, he's saying, yes, I will go. But still, he has not gone. If I speak these words to Mother Yashoda that Krishna is coming, she will not believe my words. Then Balaram began to cry piteously, calling out, Oh, Brijabhasis, how will you survive? How are you surviving? Thinking of their lamentation and separation, Balaram was beside himself in an ocean of transcendental grief. It seemed quite hopeless. But at that moment, Subhadramai appeared. She heard what they were speaking. She said, do not be in any way in anxiety. I will go to Bridgebhumi. I will tell the Brijagopis and Gopas that Krishna is coming. Prepare my chariot. I will go and lay on Mother Yashoda's lap. Wipe away her tears and I will tell her, Krishna is coming. Krishna is coming. In fact, Balaram, Krishna and myself all left Dwarka together on three chariots. But on the way, so many kings and maharajas and other great personalities were greeting Krishna by erecting pandals and offering artis and prayers. So Krishna and Balaram are delayed, but he's on his way. Krishna's coming. Krishna is coming. Then I will go to gopis, and I will personally with my own hand wipe their tears away. And I will tell them that male people are a little crooked, but we females are very simple. As a woman, you should believe what I say. Krishna is on his way to Vrajpumi. He is coming. Have faith in my words, and they will have faith. And they will be joyous. They will play musical instruments. They will decorate the village of Vrindavan, singing and dancing. They will welcome Krishna with great joy. You are listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.